Louisiana Beer Review Special Edition. Cerveza Pacifico Claro. Introduced in 1900 by German immigrants to Mexico. Acquired by Modelo in 1954. As we know now, it's a uh, InBev brand since 2013. Imported by Crown Imports, Chicago, Illinois. Okay, uh, it's a, it's a, they call it Pacifico because that's where it was brewed in Mazatlan, a Mexican state on Pacific Ocean. It's been imported into, United, into the United States since 1985. <laughs> and um, they have a, also a Pacifico light that's come out in the last few years. Uh, this bottle is 12 ounces. It's 4.4% alcohol according to their website. They use spring water from Mazatlan and also barley malt, hops, and yeast. They don't say anything about corn or rice adjunct. So this is a pale lager, but it is not an, it is not an adjunct lager. Okay, not a twist cap. <clears throat> I love the bottle design. I would drink it just for that. Of course, I want the beer to be good. They sell a lot of this around here in southeastern Louisiana and in the New Orleans area, I noticed. And they say it's a fast-growing brand. La Cerveza del Pacifico, or the Pacific. Ooh, a lot of smoke. Sometimes it doesn't show up on video, but I see it. The beer of the Pacific. Sounded nice going into that glass. Really crackling. Okay. Medium white head and a. It's nighttime right now, it's almost 9 o'clock, but uh, a clear, very bubbly straw appearance, golden appearance. Um. <clears throat> Okay. It's not the cheapest beer, you know. Um, you go pay about fourteen dollars for a twelve pack, maybe seven or eight dollars for a six pack. The impression people have is that's a specialty beer, even though it's really just a Mexican lager. But um, <clears throat> doesn't mean it's bad though. It smells nice. A lot of lightly roasted barley malt, sweetness, um, breadiness, little, but more like cracker, like that kind of bread, like a cracker. Nothing wrong with it. Um, let's go with the flavor. Now some people might say, that beer is bad. I've said this before, opinions are not facts. What you could be saying, you should be saying something like, that beer, in my opinion, is bad. I don't like it, or something like that. But it's funny to, to read comments from people that are so definitive. It's like, well, they don't like it. They say it's dreadful, so that means it's not good. It just means it's bad to you. Of course, I think most people would declare that her that uh, earthquake high gravity is dreadful. That's almost like a fact, that. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, really lightly roasted barley malt sweetness, breadiness. Grassy hops. It's lightly hopped. I mean, it's overall light, 4.4 ABV. There's a little mineral quality to it, though, and that must be coming from mineral water that out there in the Pacific uh, area of Mexico. Because it's sort of an unusual mineral quality that I don't usually, I don't typically pick up in a beer, lager or ale. Um, the only Mexican state I've ever been to that's touching the Pacific Ocean is the is um, Baja California del Norte 
I didn't go to the Pacific Ocean part. I went to Tecate. Uh, all the other Mexican cities and states I've been to are in the north. The north. Except I went to the airport once at Cancun, but just at the airport, I never got off the plane. I was looking around from the air and it looked nice, you know, but uh, I've been to, um, rain, you know, I've been to, I never saw Pacifico in any of those places I went. I saw like Tecate, I think, mostly about when I was in, um, oh, in Carta Blanca, yeah, I saw that when I was drinking beer and when I drank some beer in uh, Reynosa, um, uh, it was Carta Blanca, and then when I was in Matamoros, mm, Matamoros, it might have been Corona Extra or Tecate, uh, but yeah, I drank beer in a lot of those Mexican cities, but I wasn't paying too close attention to what it was, really, uh, for some reason. Um, but I've been to Matamoros and Reynosa and Ciudad Miguel Aleman and, and uh, Piedra. Piedras Negras and uh, Ciudad Acuna, and I've, I've been to uh, Nuevo Laredo and Ciudad Juarez and um, San Luis Rio, Colorado, and Tecate and and Saltillo, <laughs> and but I didn't drink any beer in Saltillo. <laughs> I was with a church mission. <laughs> we drank coffee mostly. But I got this mindset that I want to go back to Mexico and along the border and see what I can find as far as beer oriented, you know, like a beer oriented trip. So I really want to do that. See if I can pick up any unusual items. Like I found Schaefer light in a bottle once <laughs> down there. And the only place I've ever seen it. Right there by. Um, Right now, but it was in Texas on the Texas side. So anyway, uh, this beer is light and watery in the body, but it does have a little body to it. It's not totally just light and watery. There's a little something there, and the finish is crisp, clean, refreshing, dry. It's super drinkable. I mean, 4.4 percent. I could see this would be a a big time Pacific beach beer. Um, but I'm here in Louisiana, and we have no mountains, and we barely have hills. But I can see that this would be a big time southeast Louisiana, generalized of any season drinking beer, especially summer. But I, I could go for this any old time. Let me tell you, I think it's really good. Really, really, really good. And I... It's got a wonderful little hop bitterness it really does it's so like perfect in that way and the breadiness and the hoppiness work together so well I have to give it an A minus and that's being nitpicky but I'm gonna say excellent to an extent I mean it's not that complex or anything but uh so what <laughs> so what if it's simple it's good It'd be the lowest I could give it be A minus probably is probably higher than that but anyway les et les bon temps roulé this is a a really delicious beer and i could just like revisit this beer every day and drink it <laughs> and i'm gonna end this review by saying y'all come on down to nuevo orleans <laughs>